Yo, Kepe Sky here, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and today we are taking a look at the brand new Fire TV Cube, new for the 22 year, going into 2023. What we're gonna do in this video is, of course, unbox it, see what's inside, talk about what's new, and then we'll plug it up to my existing projector screen and projector system, and see some of the improvements in performance. Now, I currently use the brand new 4K Fire TV Stick Max, and we're gonna do a comparison between the two in a different video, so stay tuned for that. This is supposed to perform, outperform the 4K TV Stick Max. And so in a later video, we're gonna compare the speeds, load up speeds, kind of the operation menus, and see if there is a reason to go for the Fire TV Cube over the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So let's get the unbox and see what's inside. So you can pick up a Fire TV Cube from places like Best Buy, I think Walmart even sells them, and of course Amazon.com themselves. And if you choose to go to Amazon.com, you can buy it right now for $139, or if you want to be a little more conservative with your money, you can put it on a five-month payment plan for about $28 a month. So you have options in where you want to get yours. So for me, I picked mine up on Amazon. There will be a link in the description for you guys to pick up your own. It is an affiliate link, so any purchases does help the channel out directly. Now we just finished doing the Echo Dot 5th Gen and the new studio review. So if you haven't seen those reviews, check those out as well. And now we are on to the Fire Cube, which I'm excited to talk about. So here is the Fire Cube and some accessories and the remote. And they do come with some batteries. Thank you, Amazon, for the batteries, because most companies don't do that anymore. Inside the cardboard box here, we have our power brick here. Pretty standard what you are used to seeing. Uh, this one has this type of insert for the DC 12 volt input there. So we have that. It looks like we have something else inside the box. This might be just a filler, just to keep the box from rattling. Yep, nothing in there, just to keep the cable box from rattling around. And then inside the pouch here is your, of course, your owner's manual setup guide and all that cool stuff. Let's put that off to the side and let's unravel this remote here. I guess we can do it this way. So Amazon is releasing a brand new remote uh, pretty soon that you can buy separately from all of their other devices. Now, I don't know if this is the new remote or not. It looks to be uh, a little bit different than what I'm used to with the Fire 4K Max, the stick. So we'll have to compare remotes, but there is a new remote coming out. This may be it. I'll have to double check uh, after this video is over and see what the differences are. So there's your remote, pretty much what you're used to, all the buttons that you're used to seeing, your hotkeys, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney, and Hulu. Then you have your volume, up and down, channel, and then a couple customization uh, home buttons and things like that. So that's pretty cool. What we're used to, if you have a stick or any other device from the Fire TV lineup. Now here is our cube itself. We're gonna unravel that. And here we are. So here is the new, the cube here. And on the top is the buttons we're used to seeing. We have our volume up, volume down, our command button, and our mute button. And then on the back, we have a couple of different inputs and outputs. We have HDMI in, HDMI out, an IR extender, which I actually have one of those, and the power uh, input here, a USB, and a LAN port too. So you can plug up uh, Ethernet cable if you like to. So. That is really cool. Now, one of the cool things that this has over the Fire Stick Max is the ability to control this hands-free. So, of course, you have your button on the remote that you can say, hey, find this channel or start this app. But you can now do that with just your command of your voice, just like you would with an Echo device or an Echo Studio, something like that. So that's really cool to see. We'll have to test that out here in a second. So I have the 4K Stick Max remote right next to the remote that came in the Fire TV Cube box. And you can see a, a big size difference because of the buttons you have and where they're laid out. It's pretty much the same remote, but the buttons have kind of changed. There are a few notable differences, like you now have a dedicated settings button here that you don't have on the Fire TV Stick remote there. And then everything else kind of looks the same. It looks like you have some like folder button or menu button here as well that you don't have on this stick. But otherwise, they look to be very, very similar in the two. Now, I was able to, uh, to see that this is not the new remote that's coming out. I actually have ordered the new remote that's coming out to test that. And this one uh, is a little bit different. It doesn't have backlighting. The new remote has the ability to pair Bluetooth headphones to this so you can listen to it quietly and some other features. So this is not the new remote that's coming out. Um, but we'll get that on the channel here in just a little bit. What I want to do is go ahead and plug up our Fire Cube to my projector and let's get into the menus. 
All right, so we have our new Fire TV Cube plugged in and set up, and I have it plugged into my receiver, not my projector directly. A lot of people will plug theirs up to their TV directly, but I'm using mine with my AV receiver or my P processor. And setup is just like you're used to. So when you plug in any kind of Fire TV or Fire TV stick, it's gonna walk you through setting it up, getting your Wi-Fi paired. And in this case, since it's brand new, it does have an update that you'll go through a couple times. It'll restart a few times and then get you on your way. So that's what we're seeing here. Now with this device, it's really cool because you can use it directly as an echo device so you can control your tv and your av equipment with it with your voice or with the remote now you can sign in with any other devices you have with the qr code you guys see on the screen if you take your phone's camera and scan the qr code it'll link you to your existing amazon account and make it really easy for setups so you can bypass what could be a very long setup process and then cuts it pretty much in half so it's really easy to do and then if you have any other previous fire sticks or any other older cubes you can search what you used to have already preset and sync it to your new cube. So any apps you had, any passwords or whatever, now kind of transfers over, so it's really easy. So here, it asks you if you have a sound bar or if you're using your TV or an AV receiver slash preprocessor. Like I said, I'm using an AV processor. So what it's going to do is try to sync up the cube to any equipment that you're using. So you can use the remote as your volume knob to change your channels with, to turn on and off your TV. It's really cool. And it didn't take too long for me to do that. Now, because I'm not, hooked up directly to my projector or my 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 picture source i can't turn on or off my tv which is fine because i do have a universal remote to do that with but if you have a tv or something of the sort you can actually voice control everything you're using from the tv to the cube to the sound system and all and setup was really really easy and now we are in the screen we are all used to the main menu of the fire cube tv it looks just like the fire tvs you can get from amazon it looks like the 4K Max stick, all that stuff, right? So I actually haven't ever had a cube before. I didn't have any previous generations, but I've had some in friends' houses, family's houses, so I'm very familiar with it. And I, I'm really happy to test this out. The big thing that they boast is that this is their most powerful device yet. So it's gonna be able to run your 4K, it's gonna do Dolby Atmos, you can voice control it. All the voices you heard during the um, the setup was coming from the Fire Cube itself. It does have an IR extender if you want to hide this away in a closet, a media rack, something like that. So it's a really nice upgrade. If you have one currently, the, a previous gen, it is probably worth the upgrade for the better remote that you can pair with it with the Bluetooth headphones and the backlight. That's going to be nice. To voice control the device without having the user remote at all is a very cool feature as well. And then just the performance upgrades. One of the bigger complaints about the 4k max stick was that it was better but it wasn't noticeably better or most times it wasn't it still felt like the old uh, 4k fire stick that first came out it was maybe a tad bit faster but and it accepted wi-fi 6 but there wasn't really much of an improvement but this is supposed to be two times the performance of the 4k max so i'm going to do another video uh comparing side by side the speeds between the 4k max stick and the 4k uh, Fire Cube TV and see if there really is a marginal difference between the two and maybe we can decide which one you should go for. So that's going to be it for this video. Everything else is as we know it, the menus, the layout, the, the apps, it's all the same that we've always had. So there's no need to go through any of this other stuff here. Setup was really easy and quick, just like you expect it to be pretty similar to any other devices you may have had from Amazon. So stay tuned for a, a video coming up this week. We're going to compare the 4K Max stick versus the brand new Fire Stick TV Cube and see which one is the better buy, which one should you go for since the 4K Cube is maybe, what, five times the price than the stick. So stay tuned for that. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what generation of cube do you have or are you using the Fire Stick? Let me know that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down